Hi, in this video I'll show you one easy way to secure your WordPress website in minutes by setting up the free version of WordFence security plugin. WordFence is one of the most full-featured WordPress security plugins available. It enables users to micromanage their site's security from top to bottom and even automate it in the case of premium users. After the installation is complete, go to WordFriends, Options and find the Basic Options section. Underneath, locate and tick the box that says Enable Login Security. Doing so will enable all the plugin's basic login security features, including two-factor authentication, strong password requirements and login limits. With that taken care of, head further down until you reach the Login Security Options section. The default login options are quite solid. They force administrators and authors to use strong password, prevent the reveal of login errors and block out users after too many login attempts. The only option we change is how many attempts it takes before users are temporarily blocked, since 20 is too high in our humble opinion. Going with a lower figure like 5 attempts better prevents brute forcing attempts. Once you've updated your settings, go to the bottom of the page and click on Save Changes. The WordFence Scan function enables the plugin to take a look throughout your site to find any malicious code or patterns of infection. It's essentially the same as using an antivirus application to scan your computer. You can use it to locate and patch existing vulnerabilities but it's always better to scan your site regularly, just in case. To use this feature, you need to go to WordFence, Scan and click the Start a WordFence Scan button at the top of the page. The yellow boxes below will display both the progress and results of your scan as it moves along. If the scan finds any vulnerability issues on your WordPress site, will present you with the option to either delete or restore any infected files to their original version. What to do in this case is up to you, but be warned that deleting any critical files could potentially break your site. If you do find a vulnerability in most cases, restoring a clean backup might be the best course of action. In the basic options, you have an email field to receive security alerts from WordFence Security. When configured to do so, the plugin can send you notifications for several security issues, ranging from automatic IP blocks to login lockouts. Go to WordFence Options and scroll down until you find the Alerts section. Most of the default options seen above are excellent from a security standpoint, but others can get a bit annoying if you receive emails each time they occur. For example, we recommend that you disable the options to receive an alert whenever someone uses the last password function. It's a relatively standard event and in most cases it will only result in spamming your inbox. The same applies to receiving alerts when an administrator signs in. Depending on the number of administrators your WordPress site has, this can get quite unwieldy. So uncheck that box. Instead, enable the option right below, which notifies you when an administrator signs in from a new device. In this case, you can quickly assess if an administrator logged in out of the ordinary depending on their location and which device they are using. It's much more practical than the default setting. And all you have to do is to tick a box to enable it. With that taken care of, we covered all the basic steps to protect your WordPress site using WordFence Security. Thanks for watching. Share this video if you like it post a comment, give us a like and subscribe.